So what the sequel is about is, okay, well, we have now one of the hottest issues environmentally, one of the most controversial issues of any, in, in any sphere in the, Ameri in the United States of America and around the world. Why hasn't the government done anything to solve the problem? Why hasn't, you know, Barack Obama stepped in and said, we have Americans being harmed by multinational corporations. And this is not a small thing. This is happening all over the United States. Why can't we get any protections? Why is it that when we go to our State Departments of Environmental Protection, our US EPA, our representatives in government who work for us, why isn't it that they're not standing up? Why is it that they're not standing up for us? And they're standing up for ExxonMobil, they're standing up for Encana, a Canadian company, they're standing up for Royal Dutch Shell as they go in and uh, toxify huge parts of PA and make people move and, uh, you know, as they ha have no more water supply. What's the deal? And so to me, it became an investigation of kind of another layer of fracking, another layer of contamination due to fracking, which is the contamination of democracy. And this happens in every bit as shocking ways as you watch people in the first movie light their water on fire. You know, I mean, when you have, um, this is about the oil and gas industry lighting our democracy on fire. And I think a lot of that influence has to do with how the president made his speech today. We know that the natural gas industry is hammering away at that administration with uh, falsehoods, with very persuasive arguments that are not true, um, and that, that, that they have had an enormous amount of penetration. And what we see in the film is basically Lisa Jackson and the EPA charging forward to try to come to the aid of Americans. And then the minute the campaign starts in 2012 and Obama rolls out a whole bunch of natural gas drilling talking points, we watch the EPA fold on all those investigations. And we watch it happen in an incredibly, like night and day, boom, couple of weeks. And those investigations, which all of us had high hopes for, who were there to protect people who were harmed by these companies, disappear, dissolve. And it happens in full view of our crew and of a lot of other people in the media. Um, and so we go ahead to report on that part of the saga. And I think that what we're seeing here today in this speech is a part of the reason why we saw that. If natural gas is a major plank in their, um, in their proposal, whether that's correct or not, you're not going to want to have your EPA going after these cases, which are emblematic of the water contamination that's happening across, uh, across America. 